What's the deal with airplane peanuts? So you ran into Chris yeah. at the after party. Yeah, bro. So it was pretty wild. So Spade took me over to the um who actually is from Arizona. Shout out, I think he's from Scottsdale. Hey. Uh so Spade invited me to be his his uh guest or whatever. We went to the um Vanity Fair party. And then we went to some other dude, a rich guy's house. This dude was really, really rich. Like they had really a machine rich. in the front, you could just get money out of it. It was just like it was an ATM, oh, okay. but you could guess any number, and it gave you. It was like this dude was real, real rich. Like yeah, they had even his dog had like a little wallet on the side. Damn. <laughs> wow. So this dude was really, really rich, and we went in and like Jennifer Lawrence is sitting in the back, just hanging out outside, like just in her pajamas she like lived next door i guess and so she came over because she heard some commotion or whatever so she's out back just hanging out like there's like Pelinopi, Pelinopi cruise hey libby uh fancy people i mean yeah. it's like fancy people you see on the magazine and they're just sitting there you know eating, you know they had some raviolis um what else did they have they had a salad that looked it was a little well i thought it was a little bit wilted but people were eating it mm. <laughs> rich people will eat they'll eat kind of more they'll say it's like uh more artistic kind of but anyway so we get to finally see chris rock right and so and i'm with david spade so spade knows him so they're just kind of talking and he was just shocked he was like what the f happened he's almost he, it reminded me of you ever been at a party and somebody gets hit by somebody and then the person that hit him leaves and there was never really like a big fight, or maybe there even was a Thank fight. Thank you. But the one dude never had any idea there was any beef or anything going on. Wow. And then you'd start talking to that guy, and he's like, bro, what happened? Like, what What do you think, you know? That's kind of what it was. He was just like, what the Did happened? he not know that she had alopecia or whatever disease? That's why she was bald? Did he not know that? I think he had no clue. I think so he that had no make... clue. And who don't have alopecia? Everybody's going bald. You want to hear Everybody. I, know, I, I know. saw a tweet that said it wasn't even Rock's ball. joke. It was one of the writers. That's so oh. good. What do you think he's doing backstage? So After the writers. Like, like, I know where he got on. Here's the thing. Yeah. The writer probably <laughs> thought of way worse jokes about infidelity and was like, let's go with something mild. Dude, she's wearing a green, like a military green outfit. Fresh. Yeah. And yeah. is she going to be in G.I. Jane? No, no, Wait, no. What? They're not making another G.I. Jane? <laughs> no. no. She's not doing this for a role. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? No, no. She's doing it much, because man. she has alopecia. Yes. She's losing her hair. Yeah, yeah, which is apparently a huge deal. I had no idea. <laughs> Every person at the Oscars has fake hair. Every it, person it, in I, this room is losing their hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shouts to Keeps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, for real. Like, if there's one place where you can wear, like, wigs and fake hair and all that kind of stuff, it's the Oscars. Like, every girl there probably has extensions. Yeah, but she and... wanted to be proud. She wanted to come out and say, yo, this is my hair. Well, then keep it a buck. <laughs> yo, be proud. That's my hair. Yeah. You don't go and sit then in keep the it front a buck. row. You're a star yeah. at the Oscars. There's a professional comedian whose job yes. is to roast people. Yes, it that's is. That's what he's doing. Yes. And what he did was not even insulting. It, it's not about. It was a mild joke joke that was not an insult it was the most mild joke about her hairstyle I fully in reference get it. to a movie where a lady shaved it. her head i fully get it but like, I'm, the I'm idea just simply that there's saying any it, justification right. whatsoever of him getting up there and no. smacking him in the face no. but fancy's not losing his hair the way that carlos is he's like the mexican larry david he's like luis david <laughs> luis david <laughs> he is he about to come Will Car Smith. carlos is uh what do you do what do you do <laughs> Keep Carlos's name out of your <laughs> mouth. Oh Dude, my it was God. like a Mexican Larry David joke. I was Keep Carlos's name out of your <laughs> mouth. Okay, dude. When I first saw it, I was like, yeah. <laughs> what the world? He bumped me twice. Who Chris Rock? It was Chris Rock. Friday and Saturday. I wasn't able to go up. <laughs> he bumped no, me twice. No, he's a nice guy. I'm just saying. There was a little part of it was like, Dad, you know, don't bump. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then Eric made a little meme. Of the slab is that don't be bumping people in the OR, you know what I mean? So, um, which is funny, but when you really think about it, because it was a moment um, after Will said, don't ever talk about my couple times he said that, um, where Chris, I know that look because I've been there. It's a moment of shock and tra trauma. It was mm -hmm. traumatic. Um, he was assaulted yeah. um, in front of millions and millions, millions of people. Millions. I mean, not millions of people watch the but virally i mean you're talking about the world side mm -hmm. the world the, world, the entire Russian world side. putin side i bet you mutton putin side what do you think weighs more 
Oh my god. Chris no. Rock or the hair in the shower drain of <laughs> oh Jada <my> Smith's <laughs> Oh my gracious. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? <laughs> he was doing some weird movie thing. It was like he, he was hmm. getting away with it as if he was living in a fictional movie. Hmm. Like the idea that you think it's smart while wearing a tuxedo to walk onto a stage in front of the world, hmm. the like world. literally the world, uh, one of the hmm. biggest award shows on earth, if not the biggest, and smack a comedian for the yes. most mild joke, and then sit there quivering, saying, With keep anger, my yeah. wife's name out of your mouth. And <laughs> everybody's just gonna sit there in the sh that you just took on the table. You just pulled your pants down and took a sh on the dinner table, and they all have just sit there and look at that. That's what it's like. Wow. It's full of peanuts and corn and everything. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> it's just the whole idea behind I it mean, is completely irrational. But what I'm saying is like these people live in this fake world of, you know, you're you're protected by guards, you're driven by limos, you're on the red carpet, yep. you know. Like all of it is crazy life. I and agree. he's so famous and so Yep. So removed from regular discourse and interaction with regular people that he, for whatever reason, in his head, acted like he's a character yep. in a movie. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There was a guy. Yep. There was a guy, uh, yep. a writer there, exactly and I remember him saying, "I don't think that it was real." Exactly. And I'm like, I don't think the acting could be that great. I was yeah, hoping it was bro. fake. Um, and so yeah, then we ended up at the party, and then fake. Rock was there, which I thought was a cool movie. He's at the party. He's not like ducking anything, you know. Yeah. I think he thought it was really weird. He didn't look like affected. He didn't have like a little cast on his jaw or nothing. <laughs> Imagine me and Colette are in the audience. We'll never go there, but we'll never. Yeah, but let's suppose we're stage. And Chris goes, "Look, Kalila with her heart defect or something, right?" Yeah. And people are laughing, right? There's something worse about my um, my um, the way I look, not so much my look, Stanley. Stan, Bobby Lee is dating Stanley Tucci. <laughs> oh, God. Stanley Tucci's here, right? Right. Stanley Tucci. And I, I kind of laugh, <laughs> right? And I look over, and you're upset, right? I, I would look. What like, if he said this? Yeah, Even yeah. worse. Okay, go ahead. I'm in the audience. Yeah. You gotta say it now. She looks so much like Stanley Tucci. He hasn't <laughs> here in two years. No, you have to look upset. <laughs> and I look back up here, and I look at you, and I go, <laughs> "We're on TV, smile. <laughs> we're on TV, bitch. <laughs> There's billions of people. We're, be, we're millionaires, bitch. You mean you can take that? Millionaires, millionaires. Now, question, guys. Jada Pinkett Smith's uh, hair condition. You think that's actually alopecia, or it's all like the R and B singers just rubbing her head? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. What? Okay, crazy. They said that her head is like the new log from the Apollo. Gross. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you thought I was gonna give all the roast jokes in the intro? Come on, so we gotta have a couple leftovers wow. for the conversation. Oh, long for the Apollo. You, you can have a what? career. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow, that's heavy. <laughs> Here's what happened right afterwards. He won the Academy Award and then goes up and does a speech. The whole thing was so bizarre and it made me think like how many other human beings could be in a similar situation and pull mm. that off? Not like, many. Like if a man walked on stage and smacked a woman. No, that would not, not fly. Gonna would not fly. Not fly. If a woman walked on stage and smacked another woman, I don't Can't even fight. think it would That's fly. Sexy. I would love to see That's if sexy. The Rock said something instead of Chris Rock. Then is it yeah. keep my wife's That's name I'm out of your mouth? You I'm going to give you one. What if it was what if it was Jimmy Kimmel? What if it was a white dude? What if it was Ricky Gervais? Ricky Gervais. Uh, Will Smith Ricky ain't Gervais? Him. Yeah. That's probably right. Will Smith, what do you think, Al? I don't think he's hitting him. No, nah, he ain't hitting Ricky Gervais. I think Gervais. Will was fed up. I think that next and I, like, this is the thing. I think Will it been anybody. I think Will was fed up and then he took it out on somebody he knew he could get away exactly. with taking that. Yeah. Which is why it's so pussy. He's known him for like right. 25 years. That's right. But he's also made jokes. I want to make a point about that. He did make jokes in the past. I want to make another point. Nobody in that room was rooting for Chris Rock. What do you mean? Keep this in mind. All the people in that crowd have been made fun of by Chris Rock for the last decade. These are people who live in their own little Hollywood bubbles. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever mm -hmm. gives them pushback. Nobody ever teases them. Nobody ever says nothing to these people. They don't have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. You go see these shows, and they're like groaning about all these jokes and then applauding when the joke is virtuous, right? Yeah, yeah they yeah. probably look at Will they Smith as a hero. They have to go to these events because they want the public uh, applause. That's true. Yeah. They want the public validation, but they know that they're going to get caught in the crosshairs from a Chris Rock joke. That's and right. It drives them crazy, and they were happy. Yeah. Did you see the way Samuel Jackson dapped up 
Will Smith. Yeah, what a Did you see the way dog. that Denzel yeah. and Bradley hey, hey, Cooper? Hey, hey, watch it, watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Denzel, watch it, watch loser, it. Dog. No, 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 no. Yeah, chill, 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 and then I'm sure at a certain point, I bet it was very close quarters when the energy probably changed in his mind. He's like, oh, this is not a joke. What do Thank I do? You for the do you think Rock did the best thing that he could have done? Yes. Yo, he literally, his new tour is called Ego Death. Antonio Brown. <laughs> ego death. Getting slapped at the no. Oscars and not doing nothing? Mm. You can't have an ego about that, bro. Mm. And he can't even come back and make jokes about Will. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. There's, there's two yes, types of black people. It's not so. <laughs> it's not so. Black it's not people so. and then it's Will Smith. Oh, <laughs> every, every time black people want to have a good time, Will Smith coming. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, keep going. That's good. That's good. Yo, Will Smith. Smith always wants some credit for something he's supposed to do. <laughs> I protect my family. You supposed to, you dumb mother. <laughs> Stop cussing, bro. Beat my four fifth mind. I hate Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> The media. Phone. You think when I'm at the Oscars, I'm looking at the audience for the media? No, I'm looking for Will Smith. <laughs> it was a, a rare instance where someone is so enormously famous and successful like Will Smith that they literally still allowed him to not just win the Academy Award, give a speech. but also go up and accept it and give a speech after yeah, that was he BS, assaulted man. a small nah, comedian. Yeah, they, they should have ejected him. They should have ejected him from the show. hundred percent. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Absolutely. I agree with that. You don't you, you can't just go smack a man in the face in front of the world and nah. then go about business as usual. At all, at First all. of all, it sets a terrible precedent. Yes. In in, in so many different ways. It sets a terrible precedent for comedy clubs. Yes. Like are people gonna yes. decide that they're gonna go on stage and Ooh, smack the comedian? I now? hope they try to smack Brendan or you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to see one Joe Rogan turning sidekick. <laughs> yeah. Chuggy. I I don't I don't necessarily think people are going to change their behavior, but dumb people might. But also, it's just like, what are we saying as a society when the the people that we look up to for whatever reason, for good or for bad, mm -hmm. we look up to actors. Yes. And and the Academy Awards is supposed to be them in their most regal, their most regal outfits, yeah. their best behavior. Yeah. And to drop down to violence. For something so innocuous as a G.I. Jane joke. What rematch would you rather see? Masvidal versus Colby or Rock versus Smith? Rock, Rock versus Smith. Smith, probably just because I don't know Smith. how that plays out. But Colby versus Jorge, I Colby's think. Colby's going to beat him again. Colby's going to beat him. That plays again. out pretty similar to yeah. how it played out the first yeah. time. Colby will yeah, beat Masvidal. Well, again. How much bigger is Will than Chris? Far. I think at least 50 pounds. I know they. Oh, about 60. How tall is Chris? You mind checking that out? 5'10. How tall is Chris Rock? 5'10. Wow. I wonder yeah. if either can scrap. Will Smith is 6'1 and, <laughs> and, and Did you measure him at the Oscars? I looked it up. Oh, I oh, did. he did. And then I got bored of looking it yeah, up because I was trying dude. to figure out the weights or whatever, and he I just went guy. to sleep. And here's what comedians had to say on Twitter. Tim Dillon yeah, said, guy. okay, but also, and this must be said, that was all great television. From the slap to the speech, before that, the Oscars was incredibly boring and tame. We found the formula. A rocky marriage, a violent attack, a redemption arc. What a show. Uh, Andrew Santino said, it's a comedian's responsibility to always know their audience, and that includes everyone's medical history, likes, and dislikes. Mark Norman tweeted about 600 times since this happened, but two of my favorites were, thank God Chris Rock didn't take a shot at Alec Baldwin, and also I bet Chris Rock is having a real jerk store moment right now. The the ocean storm, they're running out of shrimp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I said to him, oh yeah? Well, the, well, the church store called, call, and they're, they're running, running out of you. <laughs> really? That's great. You said that to him? Well, actually, I, I thought it up on the that's way over. That's so dumb. Oh. That's, he actually said it at work. No. <laughs> that's not. You don't know this guy. It would have been so sweet. Tom Segura, I thought, was a little soft on Will Smith. All he had to say was, Will Smith's candy ass smacking a dude four inches shorter and 50 pounds lighter. He's just in his feelings because his bald-headed been fucking around on him for years and he takes it we all know who he wishes he could have slacked slapped hashtag cuck will he also tweeted these four pictures of her bald ass head and said this been bald jokes about it or her are fine it was tame af you are super sensitive about it buy a f wig wow 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 bro that's petty <laughs>
Hey, joke world, man. You got some good, there's some good stuff right here, man. And finally, Sam Morell said Will Smith just won an award for being the best actor, but he couldn't act like a human being during a joke. And he also said this was the biggest hit Will Smith has been involved in since the 90s. So, all around um, crazy thing that happened. Here's every comedian's take on it. I'm sure no one will care about this in a few weeks, but it was fun while it lasted. Make sure you subscribe to Joke World, follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and uh, more videos coming soon. Yeah, I heard him. Follow Joke World. And thank you, Joke World. Um, yeah. Y'all already know how I feel about it all. I covered the Chris Rock videos. I covered the Tony Rock videos, his brother, um, which was not in this right here because this came, the Tony Rock video came out a little after. Um, and whew, Tony Rock went off, bruh. He went off. He said, you know, there's only one thing you can do if you don't like what I say while I'm up here on the stage. He said, not a mother effing thing. He said, if you think you're coming up on this, this stage right here, you're only going to be nominated for one thing, and that's these hands, bro. He said, you're going to be nom nominated for these hands. That's what he said. He said, and then he said, uh, Will Smith, you're going to smack my brother in the face? All because your B word gave you a side eye? And then he said, look, it's like 10 Chris Rock. It's, it's like 10 Rock brothers out here. I didn't even know it was that many Rock brothers. I didn't know it was that many people walking around with the last name Rock. I'm dead serious, man. But Tony Rock, he went off. Um, Shannon Sharp should have been on here, too, because what Shannon Sharp said about him was extremely comical. Um, um, Corey Holcomb. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know if a lot of y'all know Corey Holcomb. That brother went and he went off but y'all already know how i feel about it man i think that honestly um will smith should have been able to take a joke he should have been able to take a joke his wife should have been able to take a joke and none of this will we wouldn't even be having this conversation if they just knew how to take a joke man because it's not that serious like this especially with the last couple of years we had all the people losing their jobs and far too much going on in the world right now and i have to deal with that like, that's just another thing that Chris Rock got to pull and put on his plate. But guess what? It works out for Chris because some of his um, tickets that were on sale, they were on sale at first for $50. I believe tickets to go see him now are $350. And I'm talking about the lower tickets. The lower ones. I ain't talking about the higher ones. We already know the higher ones get really high because then you got the rich people who can afford to set right in front of them or set at a nice little... Um, set in a couch on the stage they can afford all that they can, that's that's look um where can i sit i want to sit right but right beside the microphone that's why i want to sit matter of fact i want to hold the microphone what do i pay yeah so it's people who can afford that but as far as the lower the lower version of the tickets they were 50 dollars, and now them jumps off 350 to go see chris rock why because people want to hear what he has to say Everybody want to know what he has to say. Really, they do. But I think Chris Rock is going to take the high road on this. Um, and, and that's unfortunate for me because I want to see him. I want to see him be Chris Rock. I want to see him be the, be the Chris Rock that I love. And that's the, that's the raw, um, rugged comedy. Don't care about cancellation. You talking about somebody who don't care about cancel culture? Chris Rock, if you listen to some of any of the jokes that he used to have on his old comedy specials, he couldn't say 90% of them jokes today because he made a, he made fun of slow people. He and he, he used the R word. He made fun of gay people. He made fun of white people, black people. Um, he made fun of um, old people, senior citizens. He made fun of the um, people, mamas. He made fun of all the athletes that were in the, in the, um, in the arena, all of the Hollywood stars that were in the arena. He picked on everybody. He had no cut cards. And that's one of the things that makes Chris Rock, Chris Rock. And honestly, I think he wanted to roast Will Smith right after that slap. Cause the first thing he said, whoa, whoa. Will Smith just slapped this sugar honey iced tea um, out of me on live TV. And then after he ended up saying it was a G.I. Jane joke, like it wasn't worth 
that energy, bro. That's what he was saying to him. And keep my name, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. That's what is. That's what Will Smith just was having a good old time telling him. Make absolutely no sense. First of all, he didn't even say her dag on name. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He said her name just once. But you got a wife that people want to say their name. You actually have a beautiful wife. And because you did that, your wife is going to be the butt of so many jokes for summers and summers to come. So, Will Smith, you played yourself. You played yourself, bro. That's the best way to say it. You played yourself. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out to dough. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video and hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing. Love y'all. Join us on Twitch sometime.